Taff, welcome back. A lot of people liked our last videos that we did um, sitting down and it had good reception. So I have some more questions for you for something that is very common um, and the basic of things in carpet cleaning ones is the jets. Um, sometimes when customers want to buy new jets for their wands, I ask them, or we ask them in general, what jet do you have? Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, I don't know. Uh -huh. It's the one that came <laughs> stock with it. So we have to find out which one it is. So I guess yeah. the first question would be to explain what is a jet, what is the purpose of a jet? Can you okay. use the wand without a jet? Ah, uh, no. Because <laughs> um, then water would just be coming out dripping like that. Right? It wouldn't be fanning, it wouldn't be controlled. How much water, what's the output of the pump and all that. So yeah, that wouldn't work correctly. Okay. So what, what is a jet though? Then what does the jet do? So basically the jet is producing a fan and the jet is also uh, controlling the amount of water you put out because a machine has a heat exchanger, it has a pressure pump, and that's sending it to it. And the jet also helps control the amount of heat. So if you have it wide open, there's no way the heat exchanger is gonna keep up with it. So you can control your heat with it as well and the flow of the water, how much flushing you're gonna get. Okay, so then one, once we move past what is the jet, understanding what it is, then how do you decipher what does <laughs> what does each number mean? Because to somebody that doesn't know, yeah, you're looking at five, six digit numbers <laughs> to decipher what do you need, and it's hard to keep up with it. Yeah. So what do what do what do those numbers mean? Yeah. So I have some jets here, mm -hmm. and and what I think I should do is show you on the whiteboard. Okay. Uh, what that really means because it's not just easy as sitting down and me telling you what it is it would just be better if I can illustrate it and it'll totally make sense and once you watch it you'll be able to understand how easy it is to implement that once you know the numbers yes once you know how to read them okay so we're going to move on to the whiteboard now okay. and see how the jets make sense sounds good all right guys uh, we're gonna try to understand what jets are how to read the numbers on it. Uh, this jet right here, see if you can see it, has the top line says quarter inch VV. Bottom, it says 95015. Now I'll explain to you what that really means. The quarter inch part means this thread is quarter inch. The VV means it's a V jet. The 9501 means it's a 95 degree spraying pattern and 01 represents the flow. So what is the flow of this jet? And then the color of it will tell you what type it is as far as stainless or brass. This one being silver, stainless, okay? So this one right here is brass, same thing quarter inch this one is an eighth inch so the thread is um, smaller and then it has the same numbers on it but except for saying quarter inch here it's gonna say eighth inch right and then we have a different type of jet this is called a t-jet basically the t-jet can also be called Unijet by the way. It says Unijet on top of this one. And the bottom are the numbers just like the other one. It says 11002. So basically what that means is the spraying pattern is uh, 110 degrees and 02 means the flow. And now uh, I will explain this to you on the whiteboard but also one quick thing of, of this about this because this isn't threaded right so the t-jet actually goes in a casing it goes inside of this this is part number 71 or 72 on our website this is a t-jet filter so you put your t-jet in there like that and then it has a filter in there like that. I believe it might have a check valve in it too. It keeps your jets clean. And then you would put this in there like that.
and then this part goes on your wand. Let me show you a wand too. On this wand, this wand right here, we have eighth inch V-jets that are 110015s, but some wands will actually have this on them. So there's a filter inside, so if the jet is clogged, you need to check the filter. In this particular wand, the filter is at the other end. Actually, in fact, the filter is inside the jets. Here we go. So, set, so it said 9501. So 95, like you learned in school in geometry, that's a 90 degree angle, right? So if I was to do a 95 degree, it would be just a little bit more than a 95, I mean a 90. So that one is a 95 degree. So that means the spray pattern is 95 degrees. The O1 means it's one gallon per minute. And the baseline they use for it is 70 PSI to measure it. So basically what that means is a 95 degree O1 is the flow, 95 is the angle. All right, so now it doesn't matter which jet it is, they're all gonna be the same. By the way, this is a Rotovac one, and you can also get them in different sizes, uh, uh, meaning different flow. For example, this is probably a good way to demonstrate this. So you see one is stainless, one is brass, but one is a 1.5 and the other one is a 0.75. So why would you need one over another? I'll explain. For example, you're using your Rotovac and you have, say, an electric heater, or your truck mount doesn't have a great heat exchanger, or you don't use diesel heat. So what you're gonna do is have too much flow, and then when you're using the Rotovac, you have the trigger on, and the jet is shooting out too much water at 1.5 gallons per minute because it's got three jets on there too. So your heat isn't gonna keep up. And in order to do the good job, you need good heat and uh, the flow and all the angles and all that stuff too. So you can reduce from 1.5 to 0.75. So that way you're reducing the flow, how much water you're using, thus increasing the heat. And any jet can be done, be used like that. Here you go. So now you know how jets work. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like the video so we can make more.